Bonus unscheduled trip to the stratosphere this weekend. Yes. Mikey was supposed to be in LA, Dave was supposed to be in Flagstaff, and uh, due to fires in the area, he is not, and I don't know why Mike's not going to LA, but he's not, and uh, I spotted something that I'd like to go and see in the Phoenix area. Um, Yes, it's another new motorcycle project, potentially, we shall see, and um, yeah, so we thought it would be rude not to get together and uh, start doing some more stuff on the Stratus. And interestingly, it's almost three years to the day when I visited Listabel in uh, the UK and uh, Craig took me out for a test ride in their uh, demo car for want of a better word. So that was a lot of fun. Thought you might like to see the video. things in the mail today and not all for motorbikes these are well this came today uh, as opposed to this which Mike ordered for the Stratus and I rather like this one it's kind of more like the original ones and it is a Fiat part so that makes sense too I do like this though it's really nice and simple I shall reserve my judgment for now. Well, we've cured the uh, nasty, irrelevant icon, and um, now it's just a straight choice between the two switches. Yes, good old engine paint again. Mikey's also been busy cadding around with the 3D printer, and uh, I think we have a new gear knob um, to fit, which will be uh, nice. We're going to finish off balancing the brakes and looking at some other stuff like cooling hoses amongst other things. Exciting things like hooking up the battery and starting to power things up and see what explodes and what doesn't. And by the way, thanks for tuning in again. I hope you're following the whole series. If not, please subscribe and uh, encourage others to watch my lunacy. Heading to Phoenix and um, coming up to a place called Camp Verde and this is not cloud, this is smoke. We've got some pretty serious fires going on here at the moment. Back at IDR and apparently this is the reason that not much got done on my car because it was under the ramp and uh, Mike couldn't get to my car. Very nice, I really like these actually. Front engine Ferrari, very nice. Mikey's using some serious brute force to uh, remove the bearing from the drive shaft. Twenty tons of pressure, and it's still in there. I think a bit of brute force won't resolve. <laughs> and a big hammer. And a big hammer. <laughs> and that's a big hammer. That's doing it now. That's the new one. Okay. And there it is. It's quite hot. Yeah, don't touch the table. You will burn yourself. <laughs> so how long does it take for something like this to be creative? 
about four and a half hours. <laughs> and then it'll be in about another two hours to uh, make it look perfect. Right, because it has lots of this kind of stuff. Yeah, it'll have look like that on the side. Uh huh. One hour later. It is a slow process. So this is the end cap of the door that we were talking about last episode that I just want to make something to finish it off, a little cap. Something else to 3D print, that'll only take a weekend. So the new bolts came in, the shorter bolts, so we've managed to talk down the rocket covers and I rather like those black ones actually. Less blingy. Just going to be removing the oil temperature sensor. Just enough clearance on the shifter cables. HT leads. We're good. Working on this top engine brace. It's not so much a mount. Um, so, a bit of tubing there with some rubber bushing, and we're working on the fitting. Because the original factory alpha piece that fitted onto here goes off at an angle kind of I don't know, 15 20 degrees and actually we've worked out that that's basically a straight shot so we're using a uh, Ferrari suspension piece to do this end and then just a straight rod to that back end. front end I guess because it's the head so this is where the CAD drawing becomes a reality Last minute shuffle of buttons and switches, and we're ready to go. 30. Cranking up the plasma, ready to go. And we have a green light.
There you have it. Air tool there just to uh, clean up the back because there were a little bit of residue from the plasma. And uh, that's plasmatic. Two hours later. The original list, the bell one, is on the top. And you can see we've shifted those dials over a little. we dropped those to five mil. And of course we've got smaller switches. And we didn't put those in either. And we extended that. there we have it perfect visibility of all the gauges bar the speedo up to 60 miles an hour <coughs> I think we'll be able to work it out apparently we're doing 10 miles an hour now it feels like it yeah great now just finishing it off with uh, WD-40 and the Brillo pad. Mm, well, not quite. Aggression, no because you know how much I like the GT4 and a friend of mine actually was trying to get me to buy one this, uh, this week, but that was in the UK. Um, but yeah, not your standard wheels on this thing. Uh, and these are the new ones, even bigger. Really nice. Same tires you'll notice. And there it is, the finished article, ready. Can't imagine how long that would have taken me with uh, drills and things like that. And yeah, plasma car, brilliant. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely. Nice job. And Mikey's now just welding up that engine strut support for the top mount on the motor. really nice isn't it because it's straight it's level and yeah yeah and we got a little bit of adjustment yeah that's really sweet isn't so it put some preload on it if we have to yeah um, yeah yeah nothing like some ferrari parts in the fabrication absolutely <laughs> as they should be in the engine bay and four and a half hours later the completed gear knob Plugged in the new HT leads there and Mike is going to be putting on the air intake, those beautiful chrome fittings on the Alpha V6 this week, uh, as well as some other things. So we're heading towards um, putting in the battery, checking out all the electrics and um, dangerously closer and closer to starting her up. All in all, a good day's work actually. Dave and I finished off bleeding the brakes as well. Um, those calipers have both outside and inside bleed nipples, which we had um, not been aware of until Mike pointed it out. So we finished that job off. We got a good pedal and uh, Mike will be doing the same with the clutch this week too as always thanks for watching i hope you found that plasma cutter as amazing as i did and um i hope there was some useful bits and pieces in there for anyone that's building one of these too so um hopefully we'll see you again let's do this again soon 
um, with the next episode of the Stratus build. Do remember to subscribe if you haven't already and encourage your friends to watch my lunacy. Thank you.